Sarah, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. It sounds like the music's going. How is everybody feeling there? Yeah, Will, hi, nice to see you. Everything is going well over here. Um, actually, it was a pretty laid back atmosphere up until just a few minutes ago when those results started coming in. As you mentioned, Grekasar is ahead and you could hear cheers erupt throughout this area when, when that happened. And there are still people behind me in front of this projector. There's a projector to my right. They're just kind of monitoring the results. People are dancing, basically just tr trying to keep an eye out, but also trying to have a good time. We have yet to hear from Kassar himself. We haven't seen him yet at this party. Of course, he's expected to make some remarks. Not sure when that will happen yet or when his staff will come in and greet everyone. That's the next thing we're waiting for here right now, Will. What's interesting about this particular race, the Hera, is that uh, District 35 had previously been represented for a very long time by Congressman Lloyd Doggett. However, he left to run in the newly created District 37, and that left this seat wide open for Democrats and Republicans to step in. We are seeing, though, that Greg Kassar is leading this uh, particular, particular uh, contest. That is true, Will, and, and you know what, there, it, like you said, this seat has typically been Democrat, held by Lloyd Doggett. There are three other Democratic challengers. Rekasar is one of the biggest names, the most recognizable names in this race right now. You also mentioned Eddie Rodriguez, state representative. He actually also obviously has a lot of name recognition. He's been in the game for about nearly 20 years in his current uh, seat, and his uh, current district, state district, also includes nearly 80% of the U.S. House District 35 that he's running for now. So a lot of people already know him. Greg Kassar obviously has big name recognition in Austin, being a former city council member who's head of things like police reform over the last few years here. He's also had some big names backing him recently. Um, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has come out here to endorse him, that congresswoman, as well as Senator Elizabeth Warren. So as these results come in, I'm sure lots of people are also keeping an eye on that at uh, Capitol Hill. Yeah, Thayer, uh, thank you so much for sticking with us and for talking over uh, the loud music. A lot of uh, celebration there on the Greg Kassar side of the, his supporters gathering uh, as he sits atop the uh, early vote count at this time.